Hello Bits Brew, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here with a quick little tutorial. So this is an update on an old video that I made a little while back now where I showed you how to make some custom Space Marine shoulder pads um, STL files for you to 3D print at home. And they were based from using a template that was found online. Uh, a couple of people have pointed out that that template no longer exists online. Um, but that doesn't really matter because I've found a much better method of doing this and it is so much quicker that you can actually make these shoulder pads in a matter of seconds. I want to give a big shout out to people on our Discord who um, pointed me in the direction of this method, so a big shout out and a big thank you to them. Um, before we get into it, I just want to say the um, shoulder pad that I'm using to, as the basis for this is just one that I found online. I probably won't put a link in the description. There's a few available online, just search for them and they're easy enough to find. Um, just on the off chance that someone from GW is going through these videos, following the links and getting these files removed. Um, I mean, shoulder pads are quite generic, so hopefully they won't um, be removed. I don't know if that's why the templates got removed or not. Who knows? But um, yeah, um, you can find blank shoulder pads online quite easily. So grab yourself some of them. And yeah, I'll show you how you can add your custom chapter image to them. So let's go. Okay, so... If you already have your image, then that's great, but if not, you can find one from Google if you just search for some free clip art. So I'm going to search for a dragon, and we'll um, we'll probably use the same one that we used in the last video. Um, this one's quite nice, but we'll go over here. So flying dragon silhouette. Um, I quite like that one as well, um, but we'll keep to the old classic. So this is the one I used in the previous video, and then we'll save that, and I'll just call it something like dragon. Keep it nice and simple. Don't, obviously it doesn't matter what you call it at all. So the next thing you want to do is open it up in to an image editor. I'm just using Fireworks. It's an old um, piece of software from Macromedia, now um, owned by Adobe. And we use it quite a lot here. And you want to invert it. So you want the actual image um, to be white and the background black. I find this just works better in the next step. Um, don't accidentally make it black like I did just there. Um, you want the image to be white and the background to be black, like so, and then you can just save that. And I'm just going to rename it to Dragon Inverted. And then you can close out of that. So now I've opened up Windows 3D Builder, and you can see I've got a little shoulder pad file here that I've... Yeah, imported. So next you want to go on the edit tab and click on emboss and you can see it adds AVC by default and you can change this right into anything you want. Um, so like hello. So obviously we don't want writing on the shoulder pad but if you did um, it's as easy as that. Um, you want to click on pattern and then load and then you want to load your inverted image and you'll see it pops up on the shoulder pad there and you can resize it and move it however you want. Um, with ease and it just sort of snaps to the curved edge. Now I prefer to untick the bevel and then I can just drag it out as much as I want like so and I also like to just change the colours of the top and the sides so it just shows up a little bit better on the software but yeah you can just resize it however you want and then when you're happy with it just click the tick and there it is and that is, is that's all it is. It's as easy as that. Um, I wasn't aware of this when I made the first video, so the first one was very um, convoluted, but yeah, easy as that. And you can add it to any any surface. So here I'm just making a little uh, round round piece. Um, maybe you want to make a little thing to stick on, like your tanks or dreadnoughts, anything like that with a little chapter symbol. Of course you can just in, import the image itself as well and just 3D print that, but sometimes images might have lots of little fiddly parts and they might be more than one piece as well, so, so I might like to have a little background to put them on. And yeah, it really is as easy as that. So we don't have to worry about those files no longer being on cults because we can just do it this way. But yeah, um, that's all there is. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. 
If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.